So this is the um, really amazing intellectual, well thought out video that we will be watching today. And, you know, in the past, I have seen certain videos that speak not very positively about myself. Um, and, you know, people are like, don't give them attention, don't do this, don't do that. But if people are going to speak on my name, maybe maybe it's fair for me to clarify certain things. So let's just get right into the news. Guys, welcome back to another video. You guys blew up yesterday's video. It was Jideon exposing Pokemon for saying the N-word in her past, and she in turn had something to do with him getting banned off of Twitch. I mean, mm. yeah, I, would try, I would try to get someone banned off of Twitch if they... What's that emote with the Pepe that's like going really fast? <laughs> yeah, this one, bro. <laughs> the Pepe overheat. <laughs> it's that one, dude. The fucking Pepe overheat as hell. Also, can we just start off with the premise that he's like, you guys loved my other video. And in reality, like, that's why I think they're going so hard here. Because they're like, people like it when I shit on Pokemane. Let's go. And I just wish sometimes in a moment like that, people took a moment to be like, is, you know, maybe I shouldn't blindly do what is profitable potentially if I might be spreading false narratives. Anyways. They threw my N1 yeah. video out. 100%, 100% bro. You got to clean it's that slate fun. real it's quick. Oh, dude. But Call up Twitch. Hey, get this motherfucker <laughs> off this. Get him off this platform. He's <laughs> yeah, causing yeah. them ruckus for no reason. Uh, yeah, no, I get what you mean. I guess the same thing if, like, Charlie D'Amelio said the N-word and we showed that video and she had to get us canceled. But that would still be whack, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but that's so far from what happened. So why are you summarizing it like that? Suspicious. You know? That's... Like, that blows my mind. That blows my mind. Someone hate raids me, tweets about me, makes videos about me, and you want to summarize it. Oh, they showed this clip and then she got them banned. Like, how big are those blinders, bro, for that to be the summary that you end up with? Do they even fact check? I actually don't think so. Like, you guys will see throughout this video, I don't think they fact check a single thing. But then again, for someone whose main inspiration is probably, like, fucking drama alert, can I really be surprised? The answer is probably not. Probably not. Also, <laughs> where should my camera... Should I be here? Maybe, like, here. Like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The real reason why he actually, like, got banned was for, like, harassment for doing, like, Thank the L you. ratio shit. It right? was all the fans of him. Oh, I mean, the and more. Yeah. Yeah. That is even... That makes it ten <laughs> times worse. I know, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, blocking him doesn't block his fans. It's going to make it worse. No, you're totally right. It did start off from the fans abusing her. Mm -hmm. um, and a huge reason why he said that was he told them, hey, go let her f simps know that she has a boyfriend. And yeah. that's... <laughs> the way he stuttered before saying, like, viewers or fans, he goes, go let her f f f simps. Her Simpsons know <laughs> that she has a boyfriend. What, like, Gideon's my mama and he knows about my dating life? <laughs> I'm a 20-something-year-old girl. Even I don't know about my own dating life half the time. <laughs> like, just the craziest period of your life. And you're like, I know everything about Pokemon's dating life. Sure. That's a big no-no sure, no for sure. her fans. Uh-huh. All right, so going on the story. And also, that's a big no-no for her fans. One, half of y'all do not give a flying rat's ass. Two, the other half would just be interested to know more. What's he like, sweetie? <laughs> What's he like, sweetie? Tell me more. <laughs> you know? Like, the way people speak on my community as if they know them is insanity to me. In Sanity. Where do you get the gall? Where do you get the guts? Where do you get the gumption? And where do you get your facts? The fucking toilet. Or like some random Reddit comment. Or like... Keemstar. You get your facts from Gnomestar? That's amazing. 
before it gets even crazier, what we're covering today is we have footage of Pokimane first choosing to leave the stream when being harassed by Gideon fans. And then we also have Gideon exposing her for using uh, cocaine in the past. Oh That clip is bullshit. We all know that clip is bullshit. And we all we all know it's so easy to find out that that clip is bullshit. Yet yeah, look at the delivery. Gideon fans, and then we also have Gideon exposing her for using uh, cocaine in the past Jeez. on stream. For using cocaine on stream? Can you believe it, bro? <laughs> Give this man the fucking Oscar. Cause deep down, you know that's bullshit. I know. Like, I've never even done a drinking stream. You think I've done cocaine on stream? Oh, you crazy. And can you take a joke? Uh, but besides that, I just, that part is so funny. And the way it paused, day is we have footage of Pokimane first choosing to leave. Oh no, the, 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 the alerts be doubling up i don't know how the stream when being harassed by Gideon fans and then we also have I'm so sorry for clipping this a third using, time it's uh, just cocaine so good. in the past on it's just like <laughs> on stream i can't Jim. jesus so guys let's get in the story she about the she and yo the jesus there's no way oh my god yes it's exactly like this it's the little pikachu open jesus she did cocaine on stream and you know they're all doing this like to play it up for the camera for then the title for then the whole youtube video but it's like i get it ad sense when you hit 100k whatever cool 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 <laughs> but on some level you gotta go home at night and be like I really played up some shit that I knew wasn't real just for a few extra thousand views. Damn. And then you roll over for the next hour because it's hard to go to bed like that. <laughs> the way the alerts are clowning him to me, other popping up right on his forehead. My bad, my bad. It's like, come on. Like, you know. You know, right? One sec, one sec. One sec. Can we do a pause chant? Thank you. Okay, thank you. A big Let's Gideon continue. and Pokemane. From Pokemane, uh, I mean, if you're from <laughs> Pokemane's chat, Yo. and you have a penis, I'm gonna tell you this right now. She is not gonna fuck you, bro. I don't care how much you donated. I don't care how many hours you watch her. She is not gonna fuck you, bro. Why is it she that this is like my 20th time watching this clip, and now the only thing I can stare at are his eyebrows? It's like his eyebrows are talking to me. Bro, you, you probably don't want to hear this. You probably don't want to hear this. You probably don't want to hear this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a so you're telling me if I'm 12 years sub to her, she won't fuck me? No, she won't, bro. Come on. Dude. Dude. Come on. I didn't think the clip could get cringier, but then the clip with this right after. Whoa. Exponentially cringe. Whoa. I'm gonna need y'all to slow it down. And to actually, like, not joke for a second, but it makes me sad to think that whether it's for Dijon Mustard or if it's for these guys, like, if you only view women 
as potential smashes, like just as a sexual object, that's so sad because women make up half of the fucking population, half of the world. Wait, do you see your mom like that? Because that's weird too. Anyways, back to my point. Women make up half of the world. Like half of the world are human beings that could potentially bring some inspiration, positivity, enlightenment to your life. They can fulfill your life in some way. But you're like, oh, are you not going to fuck me? Swerve. Sure. That's sad. Like, you. how do I say this? You're inting your own life's potential <laughs> by only viewing women as sexual objects. Also, if that's how you feel, please do not impose that on other men. Just because that's how your brain functions on a very preliminary 3 IQ basis does not mean you need to assume that for my community or the people in my community or anything of the sort. Or any other dudes. Like if I was a guy, I'd be annoyed by people like this. Because I'd be like, you guys are making my gender look bad. I don't claim these folks. I don't claim, like that's how I'd be acting. I don't claim, I don't claim that energy. It's, it's weird and cringe. It's a joke. No, it's, no, it's not. No, to you and to you. What part of Dijon Mustard saying that on his stream was a joke? Does anyone else think that that was a joke? Because what he was saying, he didn't even say it in a joking way. And also, I don't know any of these dudes. We're not on banter level. It's very clearly not a joke. It's so fucking annoying to have people say shit. And then when it doesn't work out for them, they resort to, it was a joke. No, your shit just didn't land because it's fucking weird. You meant it seriously and you thought people would like that you're saying it seriously. But it was weird. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're done. You're done. I spent so much money on here. This is some bullshit. Oh, also to anyone that wants me to move on, one... If I can make some content out of something, it's my prerogative too, okay? And two, I will happily move on once I don't turn my stream on every single day and have a randoms be like, L, L. And now instead of saying ratio, they've moved on to saying radio. Because we tried to block the term ratio. So now any word that sounds like ratio, we need a block too. Radio, bro. Radio plus L, the fuck? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this <laughs> radio. <laughs> Stop! And you know, it like it's so strange. People be like, "Pokey, move on, move on, move on," and then they'll see waves of harassment, and they'll do this and go about their day. <laughs> Why does me on my, why does me talking on my stream piss you off more than waves of unprovoked harassment? <laughs> rodeo! Oh my god, they're gonna move on to rodeo! Oh god, the evolution. Ratio, radio, rodeo. I don't even know what's after rodeo. <laughs> Radiation. <laughs> Shit, we'll see. Can I <laughs> okay, wait. You're done. You're done. I spent so much money on here. This is some bullshit. Dude. Can I get a match from the fans at home watching this? Like, what's your reaction? All the guys. Why are you even playing that scenario out when you know it's bullshit? Eyes watching this right now, like, no, no way, you fucking they liar, took, they fucking took that sub. <laughs> you know, they I'm took a, that sub right away. I'm gonna give him a pass on this. Be like, ha, ah, they're joking. I would love to see like Pokemon actually like loses a hundred thousand subscribers. Okay, but that's the crazy part. They will joke about shit like this, and then, and then they'll be refreshing my fucking follower count. Like, is she losing? Is she losing subs? Is she? Do, pe do people hate her for this? I want to know. It would be so funny if people hated her for this. Like, what? What? Do you guys remember when, um, 
that kind of happened in Nico Lol. Like, she blew the fuck up. I don't know why dudes love, like, putting a woman on a pedestal and then tearing her the fuck down. And then being like, haha, you lost followers, fucking loser. You wanted to lick my toes two weeks ago. What? And also, look at her now. Look at me now. We're fucking fine. And you know, like a year or two ago, when Leafy was all... She has a boyfriend this, she has a boyfriend that. And my career has only gone up from then. So. I'm doing the fucking, you know the meme of the, the dude who's like this. <laughs> so then what? You guys want round two? Let's go. So then what? <laughs> Shit only got better from then. And you know, then what? You know what? Maybe someday I will have a boyfriend. And then a husband. And then a wife. And and then a wife. <laughs> Sorry. And then I'll be the wife. I mean, if I had a husband and a wife, that wouldn't be bad either. <laughs> like, let me promise you one thing. If I wanted to, I would. How do you think I got here over the last eight years? Because I work my ass off. No matter what these shitters say. I could have a boyfriend, and someday a husband, and two kids. Fuck it. Make content, and still my career will go up from then. If I keep working as hard as I do. So stop trying to discredit my achievements by being like, she has a boyfriend, now everybody unfollow. Because nobody did, and nobody will, you weirdos. It's yeah. like, dude, all because someone, of someone's like a 12 tier sub, like a year subbing to Pokemon. That's how you know these people know nothing about Twitch. He said 12 tier sub. That's not how tiers work, bro. It's like 12 months. And then there's like a tier one, a tier two, and a tier three. There's not like a tier 12. It's like a 12. Oh my God. Maybe these people thought that th like three tier subs meant you were subbed for three months. <laughs> no, 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 not like this, bro. Not like this. $300 a month, 12 tiers of... And they hear this like, God damn it, I really thought I had <laughs> a chance. I'm done. I'm yeah. done with this shit. Bro, you, you probably don't want to hear this. You probably don't want to hear this. You probably don't want to hear this. Like, I'm sorry. I'm going to break the... So does he look like he's joking? I just want to be on the same page here for those... Like, it's a joke. Fourth wall. I can imagine just so many people just like watching Pokemon and hearing this and just turning off their phone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, bit. like you gotta unfollow any girl on Instagram that starts showing their boyfriend. Oh, 100%. You, know? you gotta uh, it's easily the unfollow. Biggest turn off ever. Come dude. on. Yeah. It, it like, tells you you have. Wait, so women's only purpose is to turn you on, Billy Bob? I don't know what their names are. I'm just guessing. Billy Bob Joel? <laughs> These girls have millions of followers on Instagram and their sole purpose is to turn you on. And they're like, oh my god, <laughs> did I turn them off? Oh no, like what? Off ever, Come dude. on. Yeah, it, it like, tells you you have no chance, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. when Summer Rae started dating Cole Bennett, instant unfollow from Summer Rae. You really unfollow it. because of that? Yeah, because she has go. a boyfriend now. Yeah. It'll be on like, the explore page. We got no chance, dude. Yeah. Well, I like how we're saying that this is the reason why people are unsubbing, not because she said the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. We're forgetting about that part. All right, let's yeah. keep it going. I also hate how, like, he, oh my god. I hate that he's portraying me like that just because he thinks every Poke viewer is like that. I'm suing him for defamation of character. Fucking facts. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Can we just appreciate something really beautiful here? I need you guys. Are you paying attention? Listen to me real quick. Listen. And this part. Guys, are you listening? This part is gonna blow your fucking mind. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay? Watch. So, here... People just like watching... They go... <laughs> They're making fun of potential viewers of mine unsubbing from me because I have a theoretical boyfriend. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they're like, ha ha, like, look, ha ha. And then they proceed to talk about how they unfollow girls for having a boyfriend. Here. So, wait, so are you making fun of yourself? Three 
fingers pointing back at them. Oh yeah, me too. I unfollow girls too. <laughs> what? Weird. And that's how you can tell itself. Like, it's just projection. It's just projection. Because they unfollow girls for having a boyfriend does not mean my nice viewers here chilling out do. Because let me just tell you, this whole boyfriend shtick, it has come and gone. But my career has stayed, hunty. <laughs> oh, Lord. I just like, there's so, there's so many things I can say. I don't even know where to stop. I don't even know where to start. For those kids that's like, oh, no. Oh, my. Oh. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why it's playing twice. Because, uh, fellas, this not a gay to unfollow after seeing a guy on some girl's Instagram. You're literally hyper-focusing on a man. Okay, okay. Can we dive into that real quick? Actually, can I fix my alerts real quick? Um, um. Yes. 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 Um, shut down source enough as well. Maybe it's that. Let me play it again. Nope, it's still playing twice. Um. Oh, I think I know what it is. Maybe. Alerts. Monitor only mute output. Okay, let me try one more time. Fuck, why is it doubling still? You guys still hear it twice, right? Well, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, I think they're quiet, but I'm just annoyed that... No, we don't. Okay, let me play it one more time. I hear it twice. You guys don't hear it twice? <laughs> I love how I just replayed a message that was like, no one want to date the boat. <laughs> Facts. Um, so why is it TTSing twice? Do you guys have any idea why it might be echoing? I do feel like I've had this issue before. I will fix it. I am determined. Thoughtful face. You're literally hyper focusing on a man. Wait, do you guys hear the echo or no? Oh wait, actually you're right. I do have the other browser source. Maybe I need to mute this one. Like this. Okay, let me try one last thing. It's like in <gasps> I don't want to ever I fixed it, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. You you help inspire me to work harder in the industries that are male dominant. Fixed clueless? Wait, what do you mean? You much love through all this BS. What? <laughs> I only hear it once. No, not fixed. So did you guys hear this one twice too? Wait, there's literally two? There's literally two of them shits. Okay, I'm gonna just delete this and see how this goes. Replay. I know this is quite the pause champ, but
Hope he may and I just wanted to let you know you don't deserve any of this and think you're such a sweet person. You help inspire me to work harder in the industries that are male dominated. Sending I'm so glad. All this BS. <laughs> Sorry. What the flip? Okay, what about... What about... Here? Do you guys still hear it twice? Y'all still hear it twice. Even here. How about now? It doesn't even exist here. It doesn't even exist. It doesn't even exist. Do you hear it at all? Here it's fine. Zero times. You guys heard nothing, right? You heard nothing. Okay. So you hear nothing. You hear nothing here. Visible confusion. Audible confusion. How about this? Monitor and output. What if I did that? I don't even hear. I hear nothing. Do you guys hear anything? I don't hear anything. And this is why I'm trying to move off of stream elements. I'm so, I mean, stream labs. I'm so fucking confused. I see some shit. I don't hear nothing. Nothing. It's like in hey, I don't want to F fuck you, I want to F you lol. Did you guys hear that one once or twice? It's like in hey, I don't want to F fuck you, you I heard want that one to once. F okay. So let me go here and check it now. This it's like in hey, I Do you guys hear it once or twice? You hear it twice? You're lying to me. I only hear it once. Okay, you hear this double echo twice. Double echo twice. I didn't even hear it once. It's like in it's like okay, in here. I don't want to F something. I want to F you long. So do you guys hear that twice or once? <laughs> once. Twice. Two times. What? Twice? From where? <laughs> FK Bandit is scamming us. Maybe if I remove this. I see this, but I don't hear the TTS. Do you guys hear the TTS? Maybe it's because this is muted. <laughs> is this ASMR? Yep. Just a little ASMR segment. No free clout. Dashboard. Uh, alert. Donos. TTS. Pokemon, I just wanted to let you know you don't deserve any of this and think you're such a sweet person. Yeah, so do you guys hear that two times or once? Harder in the industries that are male dominated. Sending you much love through all this BS. How does that make sense? Okay, one last idea. Please. Oh, 
Uh, I think I need to change my monitoring device. Fuck. I don't want to F Pokey. I want okay. to F you lol. Did you guys hear that once or twice? <sighs> once. Okay. It played again, but you don't hear an echo, right? Okay. But the weird thing is... My donos... I don't hear the alerts at all. I feel like I only hear it for bits. John donated $66. Okay. This is a test donation for $66. Mm. No, the thing is, I didn't have monitor and output enabled on OBS. I have to turn it on, turn it off. I have to swap so many things. And now, now I have mm, output off and monitor on. Listen, my alerts don't make any sense. That's why I've been trying to swap them over to stream elements and start anew and have them work properly. But as you saw at the beginning of this stream, I tried to do that. And the document that I was sent just did not, uh, it was not properly set up. So, I don't know, we're still in the process. It's low. Honestly, I don't know what I could do about that. I think I'll try to turn it up via Streamlabs. Namaki has donated two dollars. The other option is if you use a Go XLR, you may have your routing table messed up. Mm -mm, Lastly, mm -mm. monitor equals where you hear, not where we hear the audio. Sorry, don't mean to assume you don't know. No, all good. The issue is not okay. For anybody that's new, I worked. You know, I, I've been on the internet for many years, but I've also worked as a Best Buy technician. And what I mean by that is like, I would troubleshoot stuff for the Best Buy employee. I wasn't just a fucking Best Buy employee. I troubleshooted stuff for the people that you see. So I can do basic troubleshooting, I promise you. I was the youngest person they ever hired. <laughs> um, I promise you. The issue is that my alerts within Streamlabs are extremely like custom made and therefore very messy and problematic. In other words, spaghetti code, bro. HTML, CSS, JS, there's so many layers to it that I think it just becomes buggy really quick and really easily. And then you have to do all this random shit to fix it. Like for anybody that codes, you know, when you have a problem in your code and then you figure out some weird way to fix it, but then it breaks something else. That's, that's what I have. <laughs> so anyways, just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So let's continue the video. Pog. Adults like us, we know that streamers oh have God, lives. So like, yeah. They get dicked down. Yeah. Okay, wait. So how come you're saying adults like us know that streamers have private lives? I don't know why you need to word it so but then you also unfollow Summer Rae for having a boyfriend. Oh, the point I wanted to make. She wasn't gonna fuck you anyways. Okay, let's be honest. Some random girl with millions of followers who lives probably on the other side of the world than you has no idea who you are. Why are you following her under the premise of wanting to bone anyways? Like, do you just not understand statistics? or math, or even like the likelihood of ever meeting this person, or her ever... What? Like you're making yourself look like a triple idiot. No offense, or something. Do you guys still hear too? The actual rel deal donated two dollars. Their entire conversation is like a <laughs> for toxic masculinity. Facts. Drive Omar donated two dollars and fifty cents. I love that you have eight point nine mil followers and dive into fixing your own issues. <laughs> leave it to their person. I'm glad you appreciate that. 
it's not completely out of my own will like i'm a freaking control freak so anytime that i do let someone fuck with my stuff and if it doesn't work out i get so tilted i'm like just let me do my own tech stuff then if it's not gonna work but it's just because yeah because i'm a control for freak those kids that's like oh, oh no oh, oh, my god, god. Oh, shut the I thought the words you were speaking were bad enough and then you started screaming. These dudes make no sense. They say, these other people are going to unfollow her because you can't bone. And they're like, yeah, but I also unfollowed Summer Rae because she has a boyfriend and I can't bone or something. Um, and then they go, oh, but we understand private lives exist, but these kids don't. But you also just said that you do with the kids. You're making no That's got to be how they react, right? <laughs> so they're like, holy shit! I thought <laughs> she was saving her virginity for me! me. I saw <laughs> for 12 fucking months! All these donos, all these bits! <laughs> but I love the fact that they're all in something huh? now, but not because she said the N-word. Like, that was not too yeah, far. Yeah, like, I remember yeah. when huh? her and Myth had, like, a virginity thing going on. Yeah, yeah. We did it. Myth did why are you relating that with me bro i'm so i'm so glad you guys are also like huh because huh other male streamer that is a friend of mine does a whole like virginity thing and somehow what the fuck's that got to do with me i'll have you know nothing how are you today? i'm good how are you She's getting dicked on the <laughs> yeah, side yeah. <laughs> this whole time. It tells you that everyone on the internet is not who you think they are. Of yeah. course, Okay, yeah. all right, let's keep it going. We have the footage now. Oh my god, you know it's crazy? Get over righty. Everyone stop talking about it. Oh no, I promise you. There are still people in my chat. Not my viewers, but there are still haters in my chat talking about it. Don't worry, sweetie. Also, check the internet people are still talking about it but also it doesn't matter this could be news from last year and i can still talk about it if i want to like why not please tell me why not actually i i've because i know people who say this shit are being idiots i never even cared to ask tell me why i should move on like why not talk about the things that i experience why can't i talk about people talking about me explain it to me why not? <laughs> exactly. Um, I rallied my friends to all fall and support you after everything. Oh, thanks, sweetie. And I'm awaiting your hoodie in the mail. You're so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also, new merch coming soon. It'll look way better than what we have right now. That's really, really sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, the other thing I was going to say, I just thought of this. But let's talk about something real quick. I'm very curious to hear your guys' thoughts. I don't play Rust right now. Hey, mate, I know you. Why does all this come down? I know. Isn't it weird? It is, it's very weird to me, at least. I, I don't get it. Hey, mate, I know you may not be in, but I really want to start a YouTube channel where I interview people. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you for the offer, but I likely will not do that. So let's talk about something real quick. So these dudes are so, like, they have such an easy time saying stuff like this. Whole this. Time. It tells you, <laughs> this turns out she's getting dicked on the <laughs> yeah, side yeah. <laughs> this whole time. They're so comfortable saying things like this, but how would they feel if a really, really popular streamer or YouTuber, like a really popular guy, came on stream and showed their photo and started talking about them? And then they started talking about billy bob and other dude whatever their names are and saying these guys are probably getting dicked down after their videos i wonder how they would feel i wonder how they would feel you know and then they went into detail about how these dudes are getting dicked down i wonder if they'd be like oh that's cool i don't mind someone publicly inferring that kind of thing about me they'd probably lose their shit like that's so not okay Just wanna say from an getting pegged by mommy <laughs> well yeah imagine someone p 
PewDiePie. Imagine PewDiePie went on his stream and started talking about you or you talk like saying that you're getting pegged after a video. Would you be okay with that? Likely not. So why are you doing the same to someone else? And then you had people in your comments talking about you getting pegged. Like it would be weird. It would be very, very weird. So now do you understand what it's like to put yourself in someone else's shoes? So hopefully in the future, you could think that extra step. What I'm doing, would I be okay with someone else speaking about me in that same regard? It's really, it's that simple. It's, it's that simple. <laughs> Just want to say from an oldies perspective, you're a heckin' legend, you're a strong... Thank you, never let these kids who think they're amazing get you down, they need a real job and get a life. I just hope, like, shit gets better, because, like... It's weird, like... It's 2020, we don't need 12-year-olds to be sexist, it's just... It's not useful in society. <laughs> don't know if my OG went, uh, don't know went through, but I knew him in high school and he got no bitches, obviously. A mosquito of a human. Bro. Oh, sorry, 2022. It's like the 2020s, plural, you know. The fact that... I know. It's insane. Oh, You're so cute. Are you playing games? Yeah, we're going to play Valorant right after this video. I'm going to play Valorant after this. <laughs> Work on tech issues and cry about stream ups. Fucking facts. Um, just want to... Oh, sorry. I want to see if I missed anything else. Okay. Dude, I can't believe someone from his high school is here. Like, yeah, he wasn't cool then either. And it sucks because I understand, like, these guys, they're probably, like, excited about having a YouTube channel or getting views or getting attention or whatever. But it just doesn't excuse behavior like this or promoting and... Uh, what's the word that starts with a P? It's, like, continuing... It's almost like, um, what's the word, chat? Perpetu- per, per, that one. Perpetuating! Thank you. Yo, my friend just gets, like, <sighs> sometimes, hi, Jalen. Sometimes the English is trying to, like, come out of my mouth, and the French is like, no. Perpetuating! Perpetuating! Like, get out of the way! Let me say what I'm trying to say, bro! <laughs> <laughs> thank you dude thank you so much thank you they're man children that are mad that they're single so they take it okay but like you don't need to like i'm sure you like games i like games we could have been friends why did you have to do this to me why why ew stop it <laughs> it all comes down to people not being able to get what they want pride is too strong in us males Man. you should watch the cards Ooh, maybe another time. Today I'm just watching this and playing Valorant, yeah. Everyone on the internet is not who you think they are. Of yeah. course, Okay, yeah. all right, let's keep it going. We have the footage now of when Pokimane first got it raided by Gideon's fans, and this was her reaction. I think I'm oh. going to end stream because... I believe that's how it works, I'm pretty sure. Like, as much as I can deal with this, I don't like that people from his yeah. community are whispering people on my stream. <laughs> Her whole chat is literally just saying L, L ratio. Bro. Like her whole chat is literally just saying L ratio. There's not a single thing that else. That's okay, but when she says like I don't. Her whole chat is literally just saying L, L ratio. Bro. Like her whole chat is literally just saying. I can do. Dude, literally, my voice is breaking up. I don't know if you can tell, but like my eyes are teary because at this point. I tried to put my chat in sub only mode. They subscribed just to harass me. I did follower only mode. They followed just to harass me or they were already following me for months and months and months. And it is so like, I mean, I'm still here. Don't fucking get me wrong, but it is still really disheartening to get that slap in the face of like, I can get harassed to the extent that my viewers are getting harassed.
just because I'm streaming. And now I need to stop doing things that I want to do, stream myself playing video games with my friends in the evening, because for what? For nothing, for nothing, because of harassment. That is like, it's really, it's demoralizing. And then these dudes go, deal with this, I don't like that. People from his community yeah. are whispering people on the Ray's laugh. <laughs> Or her whole chat is literally just saying L I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you so much for the donos and the subs. I'll read through them later, but I just can't right now. And half of them are fucking shitters anyways. That, sorry. Half of them are like hate donos, by the way. And this dude's just like, her whole chat is just L's and ratios. Like, that's it. How do you, how do you even know? That's why I had to post a whole long ass detailed tweet about all the ways in which I was harassed over the last two weeks because of people like this who just minimize this shit and you know what else is crazy the amount of people in my donos that are like Gideon was joking and these people are joking and yim, 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 and just joke and bleh, 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 bleh. that's what you sound like for real how come you give these people so much benefit of the doubt when it's pretty clear when they're not joking and yet you think I did cocaine on stream? When I have like a candy and like a pile of sugar, like a candy box and a pile of sugar? How are you so quick to be like, these men, <laughs> jokes. Women cannot make joke that real cocaine on stream. Mm -hmm. Just like the biggest clueless emoji. The biggest. That's what the fuck you look like. Can I just see the clues? This is, <laughs> this is what the fuck you look like. How come you're so ready and willing to write off the shitty things other people do to other people as a joke? And when I'm minding my business, making a joke in the comfort of my college dorm to my stream? Bruh. Bruh. What does this mean? It's not like people type, I ratio to other streamers too. Huh? I can't even tell if you're on my side or theirs. I'm confused. <laughs> it's, I'm so sorry. I'm being really slow with this. But it's okay. I'm getting it all out. I should invite some sorry if it's long. Actually, another reason why this is taking so long is because of dono. So we'll just finish the oh, oh my god. All this bullshit aside, content creator to content creator, whatever platform you're editing this on or program, there's a video bar and then there's an audio bar. And in the audio bar, you can see where it spikes. I recommend you clip on either side of those spikes and then you lower the audio levels by maybe like even 20 decimals, decibels or whatever you need to kind of just even it out with the rest of the video. And I think that that would likely increase your viewer retention by a lot because people, anytime that they hear a spike like that, they tend to click out, especially if it's a YouTube video as opposed to like a stream or something. So I highly recommend that you do that because... Claire, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Oh, like your whole chat is literally just You're welcome. Just saying L ratio. There's not a single thing that else. That's okay, but when she says, like, I don't want, I want to end it because of you. Like, she's saying, like, she doesn't want them to know that she's a boyfriend, right? Like, that's yeah. the part of it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Are you idiot? I didn't, I didn't even know he was saying all those horrendous things about me on stream. The fuck does it have to do with a boyfriend? Can you believe they just watched a clip of me verbatim saying, I don't like, I can put up with harassment, but I'm really not okay with them harassing my viewers. And they go, she ended the stream because mm, boyfriend. They really said, they said, hmm. Like, literally, where did you get that? <laughs> Boyfriend. <laughs> I 
I can't, man. I can't. Yeah, I'll still train them on how to edit their videos properly. Like, literally, bro, moment. Let's be fucking honest. Can you take some legal action? What a waste of my time. Am I going to sue them for the $10 they have in their pockets? I'm good, dude. It actually, it wouldn't even be worth the lawyer fee. <laughs> My lawyer is expensive, bro. Like, truly. <laughs> Actually, I have two. And they're both expensive. <laughs> it's not worth the lawyer fees. I mean, well, also, also, when I was used to stream and shit, like, when I got raided by Cuffum or whatever, like, people would, like, go into, like, our fans' fucking discords and shit like that and, like, tell them, like, kill themselves. Like, oh. fuck you, L ratio. And that's what she was, like, explaining. She yeah. doesn't want her fans to get, like, harassed as yes. well. I get what you mean. Dude. Okay. <laughs> that's a fucking nightmare for her. She's never seen that in her whole career. No, L's? Uh. <laughs> It's weird because I understand he's trying to be funny, like, uh, but it like, it doesn't make sense because he's trying to be funny. So is he joking about me overreacting to L's and ratios or is he a bit smarter and he understands that I have seen this kind of thing in the past, therefore the overreaction is insinuating that I, like the the mocking is insinuating that I wasn't overreacting because I've been a streamer for like eight years. So obviously I have gotten a lot of harassment and like I'm me. So I really have gotten a lot of harassment. So, so does he understand that? Or is he saying I'm exaggerating? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it because they contradict themselves every three seconds. So I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, but, but we, <laughs> you can see how that impacted her. Do you think that Gideon was more in the wrong now with starting this off? I mean, he was never way. in the right anyway. <laughs> if he was never in the right anyways, why did you spend half the video shitting on me and my viewers? <laughs> like, we're halfway through the video. And he only said that when he was prompted to. Admitting the guy was in the wrong, and yet this whole half is them shitting on me. Make it make sense. Make, make it make sense. Why are you talking about my boyfriend? Why not Dijon Mustard's boyfriend, huh? Why not the possibility of him having a boyfriend? And you know, the most annoying thing about being a female streamer Throughout all of your 20s, people always talk about -na 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 -na, boyfriend this, -na 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 -na, boyfriend that. It's like, okay, maybe you have a boyfriend. And maybe you're just reminding me of how painfully single I am. In which case, fuck you. <laughs> just shut up. It's irrelevant to me playing video games anyways. It's just, it's not an important point. Weird. Fucking video. <laughs> but like, yeah. she, she didn't do anything good in the past. I anyway. think it was out of pocket. Nah, run it back. Do you think that Gideon was more in the wrong now with starting this off? I mean, he was never in the right anyway. <laughs> Bring up the fucking video. <laughs> but like, yeah. she she didn't do anything good in the past. I anyway. think it was out of. She didn't do anything good in the past anyway. So raising like six figures worth of money for various charities, like not good. Or donating over six figures worth of money to various charities is also not good. Or like starting a talent management company within gaming because there aren't enough that don't take advantage of talent is not good. Or like being the first female streamer to hit a million followers on Twitch, not good. Or like... 
I don't know, hundred thousand dollars worth of scholarships, not good. Or like a reoccurring fifty thousand dollars scholarship, not good. Or like numerous other STEM scholarships for women, not good. Or like, or like, or like. So, don't be so quick to say shit like that. Not to me, at least. Could bring up the N word thing, but this like L ratio on someone is definitely like it's fine. Yeah. It's not like too. Imagine how pissed these guys would be if their channel was ruined by 90% of the comments being L plus ratio. Like, would that not bother you? Would you then be sitting there going, oh, it's just L plus ratio? No, you'd be like, why the fuck is this taking up 90% of my comments? It's making it not fun to post on YouTube. It's the same shit. It's the same shit bad like all right let's keep it going so after a little bit drama alert as well as Gideon started interacting with this post it was Pokemon a couple years ago supposedly doing cocaine on her stream I like you said supposedly here <laughs> like look at these these are <laughs> these are the little like things you get when you get <laughs> when you get like little candy contraptions what do you call these it's like the tongue flattening thing <laughs> But for candy, I can't, man. Are my lines good enough? Bro, this is like a horrendous video. <laughs> oh, what are my lines? Yeah, the dipsticks. It's the fun dipsticks. Oh my god. Like, the proof is right there, dude. The proof is right there. Good I enough? can't. Are you me? I can't. She's like asking her, like, 13 year old fans, are her lines good? Like, are these good enough? <laughs> yeah, laugh, bitch, because it was a joke from six years ago that you still can't take. She went from Jesus Christ. That's, yeah. where, that's like, where she like, went to. Imagine your donos going to that little baggie of angel dust. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know that, you know that's where you're I understand they're like joking <laughs> theoretically. <laughs> it's okay. Here's my issue with this. It's like you're acting like it's real, but I know you're joking about it like it's not real, which shows me that I know you know that it's not real. If you had just said, yeah, like, it's stupid. Obviously, this is not real cocaine. It's a joke. But like, it's funny anyways. Like, imagine you're 13 and your prime sub is going to like, that would have been funny. Maybe. But for, do you yeah, understand go, go how go it buy, doesn't make sense? No, go buy a fucking back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, uh, guys, you guys know what I want to get these donations for. Obviously, like coke, then lighting, then a new camera. <laughs> go on. Jesus, horrendous. Yeah. Oh, I, my God. I don't know if I'm good at this. Don't let him bring you down. I just can't Shoot this for the stars. You think it's fake? You think it's like you're had a guy. Cause you're the only one I'll give you. Dude, wow. Is it not like low key iconic that that was the song playing during this clip that is now kind of used against me? But it says. You know very well who you are. Don't let him bring you down. Shoot for the stars. Oh my god. Yo. I'll remember. I'll remember. I had shivers just thinking about that. Damn. Like that's the very song playing on the back. Like in the back. She was a drug abuser. No, you're right. Because we read yesterday. Uh, Pause, champ. The articles that we like. Do you think it's fake? Do you think it's I just can't believe this is real. And if you like, don't do you know, think now you know. It's fake? Do you think it's like salt or anything? I, uh, Why are you guys acting stupid? I mean, it was, uh, the articles that we stumbled upon said that she was a drug abuser. No, you're right. Someone in chat as a joke. I think there is some. They're like, I knew it. <laughs> Listen to me. I've never even done a drinking stream. I like not only do I stream a lot of my life, I have friends around me that you guys are also fans of. 
I don't even drink a shit. You think I'm a drug abuse? What? What are you on? Low key, you know, I'm in my mid-20s now. And if you're young, don't do drugs. Don't ever do anything. Don't do drugs ever. Okay. But for those that are a bit older, you know, some people especially under the right setting and mindset, you know, or maybe open a dabbling in psychedelics, okay? Not that you should, and I'm not saying you should, and if something's illegal, don't do it, okay? But even things like that, I, I wish I had the fucking balls, bro. I'm a big, fat baby. I just am. Like, shit scares me. I can't, even a cigarette, not in my life have I even... I, have I touched a cigarette? I've never smoked one. I'm thinking if I've ever touched one. I don't even think I've touched one. Because why would I touch one if I'm never going to smoke? I've never even smoked a cigarette in my life. <laughs> it's like... Okay, but like low-key psychedelics shouldn't be stigmatized as much as they sometimes are. Um, as well as marijuana. But like that's a conversation for another day. And that we can't get into briefly because I don't want to send bad vibes. But also, if you're young, don't ever do things. Don't ever do drugs. I have said this so many times. You have the rest of your life. Like you could be fucking 60 and then try shrooms one time. Okay, but when you're young, your mind is still forming. Don't ever do take any of these things okay anyways i don't even know why i went on anti-drug drunk <laughs> drug speech but just saying content creators jumping on the bandwagon to get clout i don't know who this is has anti-pokey tiktok yeah well yeah they're just farming my haters because it's very easy to hate someone in my position <laughs> Pokey D-A-R-E. That's the anti-drug thing, right? I think it was only... Was it only in America? In Canada, they just made us do like a pamphlets. We each were put in groups and we each had a drug and we had to do like an anti-LSD pamphlet. You know? <laughs> I think that was actually the one I got. It was like anti-LSD. You take LSD, you will die. <laughs> This is what it is. We read yesterday that the crater house that she did in the streamer house, they actually sponsored a rehab uh, facility for her. Like, That's they good. got her That's rehab. Good. What? OTV got me a rehab facility. defamation lawsuit incoming i mean that's an actual lie for starters <laughs> if i ever did have a drug addiction i would pay for my own rehab otv don't need to got me i got me but the absurdity of that statement is absolutely unbelievable do you know how well documented me going to rehab would have been if it was ever true? It's fucking insane. The only thing I need rehab for is Riot Games, League of Legends, Valorant, TFT, anything else they come out with. That shit is stronger than any cocaine I've never even done, okay? Like, I can't believe I just heard them say that. OTV put me in a rehab? What? And the thing is, like, these dudes are grown, I think. Like, they look like at least 20, 20 something, right? There's no way you're stupid enough to believe that. They're, like, I, I'm giving you more benefit of the doubt than I owe you. <laughs> Truly. You're saying the dumbest, least credible things. But I still see a glimmer in your eye where you're like, ah, we're just playing it up for the camera. I hope. Because if you believe that off a of one dodgy article when it's very clear, it's like not real. And there's countless other places you can see where it's not real. Then that's just embarrassing on your part.
I'm going to say pokey haters to this degree are equivalent to flat earthers. I said it. That's so she's not, I said it, period. Continue, she's not doing drugs anymore. No, Clearly. no she's good. only uh, saying the N-word and, and getting raided on Twitch. Yeah. But I'm not. I did that when I was 17. Or younger. I don't even know. I was a minor. Uh, but I'd love to see you discuss some of the grown men in uh, the video gaming industry who have said it while being very grown. Whereas me, you know, almost a decade ago or something, haven't said it since. Why? Because that's what happens when you go from a minor to an adult. You grow, you understand the things that are right or wrong, and then you ideally don't do the things that you understand are wrong. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'm really looking forward to your next video where ideally you will discuss these things because you seem to care about them so much, right? These dudes really said, yeah, she still says the N-word and she does drug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know where that laugh came from. I just imagined them laughing. That's what the fuck they sounded yeah, like to me. Yeah, I mean, let, 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 let's, let's be honest here. Oh. Let's, give it, let's give it a benefit of the doubt. Pokemon's come along. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like you have for the last six minutes, huh? Yes. I have not, I've never, the fact that I've never seen this side of her for this long. Like, there's also this tweet from 2015. I can't read that, though. At Quora, haps, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that's what, what, what is haps, my nigga? Like, what? Like, what's happening? It was her birthday. You know Nobody. <laughs> it was 2015, you're man. You're worried about the haps and not the N-word part. <laughs> like you're more worried, worried about the haps. Let's be honest here, bro. Dude, that's why I've apologized for these things so many times. I'm like, I'm sorry, and I stopped. Along with the rest of the world, I actually feel like the fact that I've apologized about this. At least I've seen this in my friend group. Some people were like, some people were like, don't. Yeah, same. Like, they relate to the fact that that's something that they used to do and also stopped doing. Because we don't actually want to be offensive or racist or any of the above. <laughs> Wait, did Justin Bieber do that in 2015 too? 2015 was a different era of facts. But either way, you apologize. And if someone, like, uh, doesn't want to uh, accept my apology, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Just don't lie on my name. Thank you very much. She ain't the only <laughs> non-black person that said the N-word now. Let's just talk about who the fuck says haps. Okay, but is she, is she black, though? Yeah, there's, no, uh, there's of course controversy not. that people say that she's black. No, but she's African. It's interesting. Like, some of the comments are claiming that she's African so she can say the word. Jideon even tweeted out comments from her simps. Some even saying, I like Jideon, but let's be honest, you started it. Like, this bitch was legit born in Africa, and she had African Arab descent. You gotta educate yourself. So what if she says N-word? She's more of an N-word than you, well, LOL. That guy does not deserve a fucking phone. No, <laughs> no. And how the fuck is Pokemon... No BM, but um, how do you guys deserve a platform if you're also lying on it? I'm not saying that you don't. I'm just saying, do you deserve a phone then? Because you spewed like you spewed like three different lies about me in six minutes and forty five seconds. So I'm about to pull a teacher on you. Give me the phone. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Come on, hand it over. I won't look through it. Don't worry. More of a nigga than fucking Gideon. I, don't, I, I just don't understand. No, I, that. I see it. Come on, man. That really? guy must be fucking colorblind. Yeah. Like, holy shit. And then from our YouTube video last night, I'm not even a Poke fan, but this video is biased as hell. It's ridiculous. She's also Moroccan. It is biased. You got me there until she's also Moroccan. Guys, where, where did she get you there? That was come. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, especially when it comes to words and stuff, I personally don't end. Like, I don't use the N-word even with an A. I don't think I ever used it with an E-R because that's, like, inherently racist. I just wasn't properly educated back then, as was, like, the majority of people that I think said it with an A. But it's, like, different people, especially if you're a person of color, like, you will have different opinions on what is okay or what isn't, whether you accept someone's apology or don't. That's on every individual to decide. So I don't know why they're running around telling people like, this is how you should feel or this is how you should not feel. It's like people can have an opinion. They can accept my apology and they can not. That's, that's okay. Either one. 
completely wrong. Yeah, yeah. We, I don't think we were biased at all in that last. Like, I, yeah, I, I'm glad some of you guys are truing because in my real life, that's the majority of the experience that I've had. Some people are like, oh, yeah, I don't care who says this or if you are of this culture, you can say this or you can do that or you can whatever. Like these things can vary by people. So it's just weird that they're shitting on people's opinions. When it's like, why don't you at least get your facts straight? Because an opinion is one thing, but at least don't literally get your facts completely wrong. Like, completely wrong. Completely. Video. We were literally just showing someone using the animal. <coughs> I kind of feel bad for the red shirt guy because he gives me vibes like he makes shit up just to be accepted by his friends. Doesn't make it okay, though. He gives me vibes like he just wants this video to get views. Which I understand, but I hope this can be a learning lesson to them that do you want to be known for, like, do you want to get to the point where you, where you are as credible as drama alert, which is not very? Like, do you want people to know you as the platform that doesn't actually say things properly? Or they can even decide if that's wrong or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, maybe she could have had an argument. Like, she, you guys are bringing it up for no reason. You guys are all on GDON's side. But, like, bro, you can't just say she's Moroccan. Like, yeah. Yeah. It that's comes from say, the percentage of black on you, <laughs> not the country. No, it's Ancestry.com. She can take a DNA test. It's not African. It's, it's specifically black people. It's not <laughs> Africans. Yeah. It's like, I, like, no, white people didn't call Africans nigga. They called black people yeah. nigga. <laughs> it's like... What the hell? And then also on our TikTok, Riley Reed left a comment. Gideon is a dub. Let's go. Hey, Riley, if you ever want to come on and sit on my face. <laughs> oh, my God. I think a little puke came up. Did you guys hear that burp? That could have been puke, bro. For starters, Riley Reed. That sucks. We could have been homies. Like, that's the saddest part about all this. It's like. We could have been friends, and you probably would have gotten way more clout from just being my friend. But now you've taken the dark road. <laughs> why do you, why you gotta go do that? Oh, it's not her? Okay, nice. Okay, that's nice. There was like a, wasn't there a verified mark? Why is it verified? It's a fake account that's verified? Oh. Huh? Sorry. What That guy's comment actually made me burp twice, and I never, ever burp. Like, I almost never audibly burp. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways. And then also on our TikTok, Riley Reed left a comment. Gideon is a... Oh. All right, so guys, that's what we covered today. We got to go. Hey, Riley, if you ever want to come on and sit on my face. You are the people that you're trying to make fun of. The people who only view women as sexual objects and even think that they would look in your general direction if you were in the same perimeter. Like, weird. He said, if you ever want to... Maybe I should call her up and be like, hey, would you like to? What do you think she would say? We could do that. I think I know someone who knows her. I'll just have her on the stream. Hey, so this guy was wondering if... <laughs> I don't know, man. Personally disgusted breathing the same air as these three degenerates. That man had looks empty. Triple empty, bro. Facts don't care about your feelings. Uh, I kind of feel bad for the... Oh, I'm um, just sad because you... Thank you. So sorry getting all this unnecessary hate. Such is life. Actually, I'm looking at the silver lining, which is I think it helps me bond with people who also really don't claim this energy, which is exactly who I'd want in my community anyways. So I like that. 
Had someone from the hate raid come and try to harass me because I told them to get over themselves. People just try to tear down successful women. You're amazing, Pokey Baby. Thank you, sweetie. That rehab article is a Reddit comment on the OTV Reddit from 2018. Don't you think if I went to re... Like, I've literally been streaming the last eight years of my life. You think if I disappeared to rehab for like three months, no one would have noticed? You don't. I felt bad saying that, so I whispered it, but listen, sometimes Reddit comments are actually real and true, and usually there's proof to accompany those and other Reddit comments, but if it's one random motherfucker, it does not mean it's true, does not mean it's true. <laughs> Source Reddit comments. <laughs> Put that in your fucking bibliography. Your teacher will fail you. Also, if you're going to share... <laughs> I think this is about drugs. I don't even know. I think I saw people doing... Um, cocaine in a show once. That shit looked crazy. I asked my friends about it before. They're like, yeah, you, it's... They said it's not even good. <laughs> they said you have to like keep doing it. And just know, I am someone who, like, I'm an optimizer. So if I was going to do a drug, like, it wouldn't be cocaine. I would do something that you do once and then, like, not do it again. <laughs> it's just, it's so stupid. It's all so stupid. All of it. This is a huge example of how men try so hard to keep or protect their so-called masculinity. Just by the way, they treat or talk about women with each other in private and in public, making terrible assumptions. I wish men could see how it is a problem. True. I used to get kind of tired of seeing videos like this and seeing nobody keep these guys in check. Like nobody's fact checking them. Nobody's saying, hey, maybe this is wrong. Maybe this is not okay. And then I decided... I will be my own savior. I will do whatever I can. I will be the change that I want to see in the world. You know? And even if it's just to my community, maybe there's a few people in here who didn't get it, and now maybe they get it a little bit more. I'll call them the fuck out at least. So at least one day in record books, you know, they'll be able to look back at this VOD for the facts. She didn't go to rehab. She never did coke. God bless. Jesus, amen. You know? <laughs> can we get an otv original video of the rehab with michael as the on staff psychologist in event in defense she said they were f in defense she said they were fun dip they were though like you can see the little little fun dip sticks <laughs> these dudes are gonna be livid when they find out i'm a tier 16 so <laughs> it's all it's just all so terrible house manager yvonne be like rehab this bitch for sure. Please check my chats of you. Oh, sorry. Not right now. Anyways, that's life. Can I just say on behalf of all non-dickhead men, we do not claim these assholes. Keep killing it. Thank you. How do you hide a BF and rehab while streaming? <laughs> you please stop roasting me for playing Valorant all the time. How do you manage your time so well? Girl boss, gaslight, gatekeep, whatever. Or is it the other way? Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. <laughs> That's how I uh, play Valorant for 12 hours and do coke all the time and have seven boyfriends. Oh my god, that would be a way better article. Not like Pokemon has a boyfriend. Pokemon has seven. I would be interested. I'd be interested in my own seven boyfriends. And then I would just, like, if it wasn't me, go queen, let's go. Like, harm, like, that would be hype. <laughs> I think that would be hype. One, <sighs> snooze, bro. Old news. <laughs> I literally reported an Instacart shopper for harassing me to Instacart, and my job didn't like that? What? So I'm in trouble for doing the right thing and being penalized for it by my job. It's messed up seeing people who do wrong just getting away with stuff. Disgusting shit, dude. Seven house husbands. Seven, one for every day of the week. That's literally good content. I have a different husband come by every day. 
And the funniest part about all that, listen, the funniest part about me having a boyfriend or a husband or seven of them shits, I am a good enough streamer and entertainer that my viewership would only go up. I would let one in at a time. Good morning, Alex. Today is John's turn. Welcome. Hi. What is another guy name? I don't even know enough men. William. Hello, William. Come in. And it would fucking stonk. I am just so tired of people speaking on my name. Like, I don't... Like... Like, I don't deserve more credit. I really feel at this point, I do. I really, really feel like I do. We only want Kevin. Kevin's got you guys. I'll be here soon. <laughs> Miss Trap. Yeah, literally the Miss Trap. Miss would be so proud of me. Miss would be so proud. Uh, as a black girl who has seen your N-word clips years ago, I'm proud of the way you use your platform to build safe spaces. Don't forgive what the N-word comes from, but I am so ready to support your anti-racism actions since and you aren't that past. Thank you so much. Very true. And I always, always put my money where my mouth is. I think I spoke about this also on MLK Day. And I didn't even talk about this. But I, I donated on that day prior to that stream as well. Like. Uh, I don't know. The last thing I can say is just. Sometimes guys will do nothing and get all the benefit and all the credit in the world. And guy and girls, especially on Twitch, will try so hard to constantly do the right thing and be careful of the things that they do and still get constantly shit on with zero benefit of the doubt. Zero. Or at the very least, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Imagine giving me $2 to say sorry for the hate, you dumb bitch. Okay, I'm going to go buy two tacos now. <laughs> Pokey, you're the best. Keep being amazing. Love your back. Thank you. The people who bring up the N-word clip are just digging up your past content so they can flex it off to people to make them offended. It's not even your fault that people can be offended by that clip. It's theirs because of how much they bring it up. I'm just <laughs> Plus two tacos, Pog. Mm. I think it just feels really bothersome when people bring it up. Only because they almost exclusively bring it up without mentioning the several apologies that I've made. And that is obviously really, like if anything, it hurts my feelings because I don't want people who are misinformed to think that I never apologized for those things or that I do them now or that I don't care or anything like that. Like that's what bothers me the most, the misinformation. And they intentionally do that. Like they will intentionally not mention those things. That's what bothers me. And so I hope if someone does see it and they don't really understand fully that someone will correct them. But such is life. I understand I can't have full control over it. So I kind of just do what I can. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you, Dark Star. Thank you guys all for subs and resubs and donuts and everything. I appreciate it a lot. Alright, so guys, that's what we covered today. We got a lot of those comments on yesterday's video about how she's Moroccan, but also a lot of fans saying, you know what? Fuck no, Pokemon's totally in the wrong here, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. If you guys like that, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> so make sure to subscribe. Only thirty percent of you guys yesterday were actually subscribed to the video. And also, we have our Discord down below. Go join that. We'll be going live talking to you guys about some random stuff. Yeah, we'll do it. Go check it out. Get hit that like button. Okay, that's the very base. Woo! I'm gonna go live on Discord, Pog. <laughs> when you get no Twitch viewers. <laughs>